مدارس عنيزة الأهلية رؤية جديدة إدارة واعدة خبرات تربوية رائدة خدمات تعليمية متميزة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا بكم جريد 7 درس جديد من دروس الإنجليش معكم فاطمه سعيد مدارس عنيزة الأهلية المصار المصري Today إن شاء الله we're gonna study the gerund and infinitive Let's know what the difference between gerund and infinitive. Here, infinitive is the verb without any addition. As you see, to play, no additions after play. No, not played or place or playing. Infinitive without any addition. To play, to travel, to watch. So what about gerund? Gerund to add ing at the end of the verb. For example, playing, traveling, watching so we call the verb the verb plus ing gerund also we use the gerund form of the verb when it is the subject of the sentence how can i add ing for example for the word swim it will be swimming if i say he is swimming here swimming is a verb but what happened when i say swimming is my favorite sport for example here swimming is a noun okay because I start the subject or the sentence with this word swimming here is a noun if I say he is swimming swimming will be the verb but if I start the sentence swimming is my favorite sport here swimming is a noun okay another example playing the piano is my favorite way to relax Playing the piano here. Could you tell me playing here is a noun or a verb? Perfect. Here playing is a noun. What happened if I say she's playing the piano? She's playing the piano will be verb, but here is a noun. Another example. Eating fruits is good for your health. Here eating, noun or verb? Great job. Here it's a noun, eating fruits, actually fruits, is good for your health. If I say, I'm eating fruits, I'm eating here, verb. But if I start, it will be noun. Another example. We generally use the infinitive form in sentences with more than one verb. How? Let's see. She likes to drink tea. I love to eat chocolate. Here we have two verbs, likes and drink. Here, love and eat. Okay? According to the first verb, you can use the second one in the infinitive or in the gerund form. Let's see with the example. I like to watch movies. I like watching movies. Who can tell me the difference between I like to watch, I like watching. In the first example, my dear, if I say I like to watch movies, I speak about a specific situation. Just here in this situation, I want to watch the movies. But if I say I like watching movies, I speak generally. Generally, it's my favorite uh, hobby to watch movies. Also here, she loves to play games. What's the difference between loves to play and loves playing? Loves playing, the next one, I speak about general situation, general case. But if I say loves to play, I speak about certain situation or specific situation. Great. Gerund and infinitive, some verbs that can follow by gerund and infinitive. These are about seven verbs that you can use it as gerund or as infinitive. At the same time, I can say, I like to play or I like playing. I love to watch or I love watching. I hate cleaning or I hate to clean and so on. Begin, start, can't stand and continue. She hates to, to go to the bank. She hates going to the bank. What the difference? She hates to go to the bank in this situation, in this specific situation. But if I say she hates going to, I speak about a general situation. عموما هي مش بتحب 
going to the, po the bank. But here, she refused now to go to the bank. Uh, number two, I continued to do my homework. I continued doing my homework. Okay? Number th three, example three, she began to ride her bike in the morning. But here, we've begun riding her bike in the morning. So, when I say to go, to do, to play, specific situation, but going or watching or cleaning, general situation. Great job. Some verbs can be followed only by gerund. We have some verbs, just gerund. For example, gerund means verb plus ing. Avoid, consider, enjoy, keep on, practice. Quite stop think about these verbs you can just use them with gerund situation or gerund case not infinitive case avoid consider enjoy you should memorize my dear I want you to memorize these verbs keep on practice quit stop and think about <clears throat> here he enjoys listening to music she likes traveling by plane. We've stopped eating junk food. Look here, stopped eating, didn't, likes traveling, didn't, enjoys listening, didn't. We have some verbs that can be followed only by infinitive. For example, decide to, learn to, want to. Can I say decide going? No. Can I say learn? Um, swimming, L learn to, want, uh, buying, no, want to buy, okay, so decide to, learn to, want to. I've never learned to surf, so learn plus to plus infinitive, decide plus to plus infinitive, move. So my dear, verb plus infinitive, like decide to, learn to. Verb plus ing, it's called also, it's called gerund, avoid, consider, enjoy, keep on, practice, quit, stop, think about. Here, the third column is about both gerund and infinitive. For example, begin, can't stand, continue, can't stand the meaning, uh, I hate it. Can't stand means I don't like something. Continue, hate. So, hate is a synonym for can't stand. The same meaning, hate and can't stand. Like, start. So, my dear, we have finished the end of our today's lesson. I hope you get benefit from this presentation. Have a great time. Goodbye.